Welcome back to Faba TV, guys, which stands for Fabulous Faba Face and Body Art Television, which has expanded to like a lot of different arts now. But we're going to continue with getting that art going so that you are learning. Make sure that because of all this beautiful free entertainment, you are taking advantage of our promotion, our cause, and helping out Brian Wolf and his family. So that website, once again, is um, helpbrian.com. What is it? Helpbrianwolf.com. And also... PayPal is used as well. All the names are going into a hat, and we're giving out fabulous prizes, Faba prizes. And yes, there's been a lot of comments about the size of my microphone. This is my magic mic. Okay, yeah. This is uh, I'm sorry, Bob Barker couldn't be here today, but he wants you to know to spade and neuter your pets. I mean, what is this game show? We've got all this technology, like where we're in your living rooms now, bringing painters from all over the world. But this is what I can contend with. Darth Vader couldn't hide this in his robe. That's <laughs> My, my Iron Man. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna, luckily we have uh, some headset mics for the painters so they don't have to contend with this. They only give this to the magicians. I so, heard it was the size of your mic didn't matter. The size doesn't matter. It's not your microphone. It's how loud it is. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> speaking of which, um, speaking of loud, Heather is back. <laughs> Silly Heather is here to add more names into the bucket. Um, well, we just did the raffle. We can't find the popcorn now. So if somebody wants to make some more popcorn, that'd be great. We're looking for hot popcorn. But guys, um, one of the reasons that I love doing this so much is I get to meet so many interesting people. And I'm going to introduce you to one of those in a moment. But for now, let's bring on a very interesting person, one of my favorite people, who's ready to raffle off some more prizes. So okay. we have the, we found the popcorn bucket, right. and we've got even more names in there. We are well over the four thousand dollar mark, and the, it keeps growing. So we want to thank all of you. And so, what are we giving away now? Okay, so the beautiful Kim Hamilton from Glittery Fly Faces in Canada. She is donating a tag regular palette uh, for the next winner. So thank you so much, Kim, and thank you to the generous people who have donated prizes uh, for us to make this a little bit more interesting and have a little bit more fun with. So this super handsome, cute guy, look at him. This is a face that everyone loves, not just his Can mom. Can we see him? Yeah. Um, he's going to pick the next okay. winner. Turn your so. head to the side, profile, and then the other side, Jake. All okay, right, and back so to you're going to close your big eyes. Big smile, big smile. And okay. you're going to pick close the next eyes. winner. Close your eyes. Just one, just one, not everybody. Okay, can you read or not so much? <laughs> yeah, it's okay. He, he can. That's he can. okay. He's hey, just shy. I can't read it either. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. All right. Uh, this one came through as Pamela and Gabriella. So when you sent me your email, that's the names that came through. So congratulations, Pamela and Gabriella. You are the winner of a 12-color tag palette. Thank you very much. And we forgot to run Christina Davidson. Oh, we didn't pick for hers? No. So oh, let's do that. Yeah. So we're going to pick another winner. And um, Christina Davidson, is who's a fabulous, amazing painter and super fast at painting like animals and stuff because she helped me in my magic show remember uh -huh. and she is giving away what again she is giving away a free class with her at her amadazzle university valued at 250 dollars so yes you have to get there uh but it'll be well worth it because she is beyond amazing so let's get another super special person here you come on bring your, come bring over here. your beer and come on get, down get over here blue jay <laughs> jay is getting his brushes loaded <laughs> <laughs> he is going to um, pick out a winner. No looking, no cheating. All right. Winner, Magic Mike is going to pronounce this name. Sherry? Yeah, I'm just saying. Just wondering. Shell. Shell. Sherry. Sherry is the winner. <laughs> Sherry Shell. Sherry Shell. All right, and we have three more books to give away, so you can leave now. Andrew's going to come you, Jay. over here. Come See on. See you, over. buddy. <laughs> Congratulations, Sherry. Love. That's awesome. So Sherry gets to do a training class with Christina Davidson. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, why don't, yeah, pick all the tall guys, Heather. Thanks for that. All right, sorry. Pick all the tall, good-looking guys yeah. to come and tower over little Magic Mike and little Heather. Sorry. But you can be little because you're right. just adorable. So thank you. All right. Ladies, so this is, this, all of this is – where'd he go? All of this is Andrew. Thanks. He's no longer single. Thanks to well, me. I totally no, that Heather, oh, that would yes, mean relationship okay. status of married. That's not. Oh, yeah. okay. So, all right. Well, anyway, no. <laughs> work uh, we're with the guy. Keep moving. We are going to do another raffle out of our popcorn box of fun uh, <coughs> for the winner of another uh, book. This book is fantastic. It also includes a free mirror, which is even cooler. All right. So, Andrew. Reflect on that. <laughs> 
No peeking. All right, and the winner of another free book is... Sophie. Sophie. Sophie Amaral. I'm writing these. It doesn't help. Sophie Okay, Amaral. Sophie, if this is how you spell your name. <laughs> yeah, Sophie. And this is you, and you are a winner. All right. Sophie. Sophie. All right, Caitlin. Come, Caitlin, come over here. We're, we're using everybody just to make sure that you guys know that this is fair. Um, it's really just at random. So this beautiful girl who modeled for Jay's class, she's going to pick a winner right now for another book. Our rock star over here. Ah, Floor! We're using all of our people who already live in Holland are winning these books from Holland. So, Floor, if you already have this book or that there's a good chance that you do, then we can send you um, one of these zombie skins. Just write me. You have my number, darling. Uh, let me know if you'd rather have a zombie skin or a book uh, by, by Nick and Brian Wolf. All right, Floor, good to see you. Three kisses to you. All right, write down either or. I wonder all if that's right. ever been a dilemma in any other field. Zombie skin or the book? <laughs> Which will it be? <laughs> well, you know, it's new, so it's cool. All right, Francisco, get on over here. All right, for those of you that remember the Duke of Silly Farm, also known as my uncle, even though we're the same age. Yep. <laughs> All right. <laughs> By one month. All right. He's Francisco. Gonna, he's going to pick a winner right now. The Silly Duke. The Silly Duke. <laughs> Jennifer Sweet Sewell. Jennifer. Sewell? 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 Sewell. Jennifer! Jennifer! Hey, Jennifer! Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer. You are the winner of a book. We are going to be shipping these out tomorrow for you guys. Thank you guys Jennifer for tuning S. in. All right, and since you're just so excited, you can pick the next one. You gonna let me oh, pick? I All right. Come on. All you know, no. Okay. All that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. <laughs> hey, Mike! I'm married! <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> okay. 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 The winner of this book, hello, okay, the winner of the book is Susan Fortney. Susan! Congratulations, I will be shipping it out to you, and thank you guys for tuning in. Keep your donations coming, and we are going to get started with the next artist, right? Yes. Okay, not yet, but let me just give him a little inter introduction. Oh, you got it, cool. uh, This it, it is Jeff, right? Right, cool. It is Jeffrey. Okay. I'm uh, just making sure he's up because I don't have the schedule in front of me. Um, this amazing, talented guy came to the convention and he blew our socks away. Uh, I think that's how it goes, right? Blow, Blows, I think blow off. your, blow blow your socks blow Okay. Your socks. Sorry, guys. I'm not always good away. with those things. Um, but <laughs> if you're hanging the socks on the line and then they got so the wind took them. So we our socks on our Faba TV line and they blew away. He blew all the clothes away <laughs> off of the clothesline. <laughs> and off of Margie, too. If you see Margie, you'll see what I mean. Um, but I am very excited to have him in the studio. This is what I mean about having a beautiful face and body art family. He heard about our paint-a-thon, and he said, what can I do to help? And I said, well, you can come and show people how awesome you are. And he got on a plane, and he got here. And for that, I'm eternally grateful, and I'm sure that uh, Nick and Brian Wolf are too, just to have someone like that come and join and really be able to show each other that, you know, you pay it forward, and look what ends up happening, that we just keep on, keep on giving. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to let Magic Mike do his thing, and then we're going to have Jeff come in the studio and take it off, and John's going to be doing a, um, a Magic Mike interpretation, the movie Magic Mike. He's going to uh, reenact a few scenes of it, especially the scene where they uh, do the little uh, rodeo. The schedule keeps changing. It's <laughs> constantly right, changing. Guys, so You're in store for a show. Cool. I'm going to bring him up. Now, he has had a great time. Um, this is one of his first times visiting South Florida. His mind is still in the clouds because of all the beautiful people and amazing artists that he's met. And he found out that this place is mainly run by women. And you can tell kind of that he's found that out pretty quickly. Uh, Jeff, can you come over here? Ladies and gentlemen, um, this is one of our newcomers that's just blowing everyone away. New to the body painting world, but has been an artist for years. And welcome. It's <laughs> Jeff Simon. 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 Jeff Simon. Simon, if you're uh, in Great Britain. <laughs> yeah. Or you're from Harry Potter fan, right? Uh, I met Magic much, Mike yeah. in in the house. <laughs> oh oh yeah. my goodness! You see all the love we got here? It's just mad it's love. So it's unbelievable. Very popular. <laughs> it's here all, with the silly ladies. It's just from painting hearts. This is what happens. <laughs> you get some love, and we spread the love, and that's what we're doing here. That's what uh, face painting to me has always been, and that's what I'm doing to try to spread the love in the world. You know, we only got like a moment sometimes, and I only get two seconds to paint somebody, and in that two seconds, I'm trying to make a whole moment, like, make them feel like a celebrity, make them feel like, this is, you, you, you are a celebrity. You're I a celebrity feel, in my chair, because I'm painting you, and this is your fab moment. <sighs> Big plug there. Awesome. Faba TV moment. So, uh, um, 
So we're gonna bring on your model. Yeah, we're gonna bring. Can I introduce my? I, I'm a. I'm an art teacher actually in Connecticut, and uh, I teach in in a very exciting setting where uh, the kids are very, very uh, not so motivated. So we try to motivate them with whatever we can. So I try to be animated and hope they could. Uh, <laughs> Do you see the kids? So much love here. We can't. They can't get enough. Um, I'm gonna be painting a T-shirt. I actually make T-shirts. My company name is 917inc.com, and uh, I do face and body painting. I do temporary tattoos, and I do. I make T-shirts, actual T-shirts. I don't have this one on. I didn't make this one, but I could if I wanted to. <laughs> um, so we're actually gonna paint a T-shirt on somebody, and that's a technique I'm gonna. I'm going to show you guys. I based her already, so she has a base coat cover. It's very loose. Um, you don't have to cover her completely. You know, it doesn't have to be, you know, a solid painting before you start doing the actual details. What um, what I'm going to show you is how to put the shadows in and make your 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 uh, your folds roll, and that's what you're really trying to do. So I loosely paint the base coat, and even leaving those streaks, what happens is those streaks become where I put my shadows in. So I'm actually going to get into actually painting. Wow, I didn't notice I had so much love on my face. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to kind of just start. I'm using, this is actually a snazaroo. Let me see. This is a snazaroo round. This is like my favorite brush on earth. It just does everything. You can stay loose. And um, you don't get those hard lines. What happens when you're using flat brushes and you get hard lines, it just it puts these angles that you don't need and you don't want to really have to deal with those. So I'm just kind of putting in shadows where I want my folds to roll underneath. Where I started with the white, where I started with the white, is uh so those top where the highlights are those are those are the thickest part so now i'm actually putting my shadows in where the streaks are seeing through just to play that up and when you start putting lines in here you start the folds will start making sense so i've been painting for this will be my third year i went to uh i went to a convention about two years ago and it was probably the most moving moment, beginning of the most moving moments of my life, when I started doing, doing the painting. I started out making t-shirts, and then we did a show to, we did a, a body graffiti show in a club, and, uh, and that was to pro promote the t-shirts. So from promoting the t-shirts, I, I did a body graffiti on someone, and then we just, it kind of went crazy from there, because everybody was like, so when's the next show? When are you going to paint? You know, what are you going to paint next? And it was like, all right, well, we'll do the next one. So we kept setting up these shows, and uh, basically the business just kept taking off. Uh, my next kind of moment that I started really getting into the body painting was uh, I went to an East Coast convention in Manchester. So I'm from Connecticut. I don't know if I expressed that. <laughs> but um, we were, I went to the East Coast Convention. And I met Pasher and Mark Reed and, and Sean Avram and a few other people. So I'm going to tell you what inspiration does. Inspiration was, I'll, I'll be, this is the last time I'm going to tell this story. All right, Pasher? Because uh, <laughs> I tell this story to everybody. Um, Pasher gave me this brush, right? This is a, a shader, right? I was doing a painting on uh on this girl's back, and he just was like, you know what, like, I really think you should keep painting, and when he handed me that brush, it was like, oh my God, this is like my moment right here, you know, like, I don't know, it's like Picasso giving you a brush, I don't know how you would feel about it, but it's like, it's like gold right now, I'm like, this is like my golden brush, I could like, turn people to gold with this, like, ping, you know, <laughs> so that's how much, you know, and that was two years ago, and from two years ago, you know, him gave me this brush, honestly, I was like, I'm going to keep going with it, you know, like, all right, like, I feel inspired. And I think that's what this moment really is about. Um, coming down here was really like, Brian Wolf has been an inspiration to, I mean, the Wolf brothers themselves and Brian himself have been like 
I'm an amazing inspiration. Honestly, it's like the Michelangelo and the Picassos of, of face painting and body painting. They were related? <laughs> well, in, in, uh, in the art sense. Um, so, you know, we as artists, like, I, I don't know, I'll take advantage of any moment that's like, you know what, like, like what could we do to help them? Like, if I could paint and that'll help, like, pff, then let's do it. So they, they, they invited me down here and uh, to do my thing and to show you guys how to make some, some folds and wrinkles and maybe you could use this for a club gig or, you know, a show or if you do fashion, you could paint shirts on people. This is kind of, you could use this and apply it to a lot of different other ideas. So if you're painting a suit, like if you've ever seen the Demi Moore suit or stuff like that, <clears throat> you know, this will help you with it. And all I'm using right now is, is actually a snazaroo gray. And this is just to put some shadows in my wrinkles. Remember to always put shadows in your wrinkles. Shadows in your wrinkles. Because without wrinkles or shadows in your wrinkles, you don't have wrinkles. <laughs> <laughs> So people are trying to get rid of wrinkles when they really should be concentrating on the shadows. And, <laughs> yeah, you, you got to get rid of your shadows. That's what the problem is. If, you're, uh, if your gray's not gray enough or dark enough, mix it with the uh, black. I got, I'm using Mayron, Mayron black. All right, there's a, uh, for those of you first watching, if this is your first time painting, there's Mayron black and there's Wolf black. Black, I mean. <laughs> so, these two, this is like spray paint versus watercolors. Does that make sense? I hope you really understand that. Yeah, spray that. paint's bad for your skin. Yeah, spray paint. <laughs> well, uh, oh, pay, like opacity. This is like a blowtorch. This is like a blowtorch. You know, yeah, it's like a, well, one will fully cover something and the other will not do so much damage. So... Sorry, Jeff. Lisa Marshall said I wasn't heckling you enough because I was heckling her the whole time. Oh, so I'm back. Oh, yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> It wouldn't be the same without Magic Mike in the background. It's going to be the Magic Mike and Jeff show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning a lot. I had no idea that Michelangelo and Picasso were twin brothers. <laughs> well, they were born again in Brian and Nick Fun Wolf. Fun fact. <laughs> so if you need to make uh, some darker darks, just mix it with, with your Mayron, your black, Mayron black, and I'm using actually a Snazaru gray. We'll get to the wolf black later. Um, Jeff, what are foamies? Foamies? Um, the question is simply foamies. What are foamies? I don't know. I'm looking for question marks. So <laughs> people have questions, but I'm not sure what oh, that means. Are you, do you mean like the pasties? It says foamies mm -hmm. question mark. We've covered her with pasties when we to begin. Um, you can get those at Snazaroo. I mean Snazaroo. Sorry. Uh, Sillyfarm.com. Actually, I got everything from Silly Farm. We're going to go crazy with like... Everything is from Silly Farm, like my wolf sponges. I base coated her with wolf sponges, by the way, if you want to know. And right now I'm using the Snazaru brush. They also pointed out that you've got a challenge since your model keeps laughing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here, can you see? Can you see? Let me see. We're going to put your... Sorry, we don't want to like put her pits in the, in the painting. But we'll just kind of abbreviate this. So our shadows... You got to find places where you're going to get those folds to seem believable. If they don't seem like there's a reason for that fold, it doesn't make sense. I really think that, you know, down here, like, you'll start seeing bumps in these folds. But up here, there's really no reason to have bumps unless you put some kind of bump in there. And it's going to look like they got a tumor growing out of their arm, but you don't want that. <laughs> Avoid senseless folds. Yeah. Avoid senseless folds that just might, whoop, that's way dark. See, we, it happens. You know, everybody's perfect. That's what makes artists magicians, like Magic Mike over there. When you, we get mistakes <laughs> and we're like, oh, I'll just turn that into something. Play it up. Mistakes are actually what perfection, it's like the pursuit of perfection. Mistakes, all the mistakes that are made turn into a perfect painting after you fix all your mistakes. So, <laughs> Jeff, someone explained foamies with five words I don't know. So Lowell, Cornell, Maxine's Foamies, Star Blends. Oh, what are you, uh, those are sponges, I believe. Does that make no, sense? No, this isn't a, this is actual brush. It's not a foam brush. It's not a foamy oh. brush, if that's what you're thinking. Oh, that makes sense. 
You know what I mean? She's giving me a confused look like I wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> so right now I'm putting in shadows. So your, your base coat, and then you do shadows, and then we'll go back in and start chiseling our highlights and our middle tones. Basically what you're learning is how to paint. Like painting is, there's five elements to painting. In painting you're going to do, there's your base color, which is our white, and then our, we're going to have highlights, which will come after, our shadows, right? And then there's cast shadows that we'll do at the end, and then reflected light that comes back up. Uh, I don't know if this will make sense, but reflected light is, uh, if you could see it under, I don't know, can you see it on my chin? Like, if I have a bright pink or something, let's see, lime green might do it. Does it make sense? Do you see the, <laughs> the reflected light? What happens is light bounces back. So when you put a shadow here, you could put a little white highlight or white reflection. Let me, let me paint it and you can see it, what I mean. <laughs> My 917inkink.com. It's uh, Simon 917inc? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, Simon 917 Simon917inc.com is yeah. Jeff's website. It, it goes, both of them lead to the same place. So the first one I started was Simon 917inc, and so then they, I abbreviated. I was like, you know what, we don't need to have the my so old name So should they on go there. to the first one second or go to the second one first? <laughs> they both go to the same place. Okay, good. So... Whether you start here or you start over there, they'll... Kind of like having two La Quintas across the street from each other. Oh, exactly, yeah. If you ever stayed in La Quinta and... Where is uh, it? Davy. We have some congratulations Orlando? on Abby as She-Hawk okay. when she was painted as She-Hawk. Let me see. Yeah, they're bringing well, up She-Hawk. Remember when you were She-Hawk? You don't even remember, do you? Wow, she is so spaced out. Look at her. She's so confused. Weren't you She-Hawk? <laughs> no. What, she it wasn't She-Hawk? It was his... Uh, you were green. No, you no. Green, it was... Uh, it was a zombie. Katie Goda. Zombie? Oh, here, look. Just in case, this is how helpbrianwolf.com, all right? This is, this is how I remember how to do names, okay? People, I'm not good at remembering writing a name. So if somebody's oh, like, like, do Jenny, I'll write Jenny, you know, is it J-N-N-N-Y or is it, you know, one of whatever? And I'm like, okay, and then I'll paint it on because I have a bad habit. Like, I'll write Jenny with, without the E or something, you know? And then for this, actually, it helps me figure out my symmetry, so my center letter is the N, all right? So if I wanted to put it in the middle, I would start with my N in the middle, and then I would keep going. And that way, that's how you center your, your text. Uh, all right, we'll keep going. I'm going to show you the design we're actually doing over here is in uh, tribute to the Wolf Brothers because I'm so honored to be painting here and actually be next to them. Like, I'm still on the clouds. I'm still, like... Since the convention, I'm like, uh, I'm not coming down. This is the best place on earth. Um, so we're going to start the wolf over here. What's my time? What am I looking at? Okay. So I'm going to put some red, some Mayron red. I use a lot of Mayron red for my base colors. <clears throat> and here's my reference. An iPod's great because you actually could look for your pictures and then, you know, hold them. I save them on my... Save the image, and then you could paint it on somebody. We're going to give them some red eyes. You know what's funny is uh, Marcella was like, she's like, I like Lisa because she does like the cute stuff. And I was like, oh, she must hate me because like everything I do is really mean looking. <laughs> like if it doesn't look mean, it doesn't make sense to me. Like it's got to have some kind of like grr to it. <laughs> it's just a habit, I guess. I don't know. Um, let's see. Yeah, the kiss marks on your face look really mean. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's what I get for being mean to them. They were like, I was like, leave me alone. And they're like, oh, okay, I'm good now. <laughs> they're like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, I don't know how to like calm down before, before a gig. Like, I'm like pacing around a room. I'm lucky I'm like a sweat bursting from my, my forehead right now. Because that's usually the case. Like, I'm painting, I'm like dripping paint on my, on my cakes. And I'm like, I hope nobody noticed that. <laughs> Kids' parents are like, I'm like, uh, it's pre-water. Psh, psh, drip, drip. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten away with it. Try not to do it too much. It's probably better to wear a bandana. I don't know. All right. So we're painting. This is an illustration. I love illustration. My degree is in illustration. 
I have a BFA from University of Hartford in illustration. I started out doing that about, I graduated in 01. And I was doing illustration for a while, and it turned into, I don't know, it got kind of, it's tough to sell. You know, you paint for people, and you're in a room day for days trying to come up with a design, and blah, blah, blah. And it just becomes, you know, so it was tough. So I actually got certified to teach art. So I've been teaching art in Connecticut for the past 10 years. Um, but uh, we stayed home. I stayed home with my daughter about three years ago. And then that's where the whole company actually came from, from uh, staying home. I got the chance to chase my dream. And uh, this is actually like my dream on earth. Like, I don't know, if you could paint your dreams, like, what better place to do it, right? On people. <laughs> um, so what I'm doing, I'm blocking in the illustration. And what happens is what you're going to want to do is just block it in. Like, don't, you know, you don't got to get into details. Right now we're going to actually just put color there and then we'll put we'll put folds right going like right through it so you're actually kind of you're gonna mess up the picture that's the goal of it because no you know a t-shirt never looks perfect you know the image doesn't sit flat it, you know it rolls over so you paint right right through it I'm like I'm not much okay listen I'm a man and this is the way I, I operate. Like, I can't multitask. Like, it just, this doesn't work for me. So I'll t I'm, I'm going to paint a little bit, and I'm going to try to show it, you know, explain what I'm doing. If you, if you don't understand, then I'll post it on, a, on the forum, and Magic Mike will be like, oh, what, this is what's going on, you know? <laughs> um, so, you know, just if you have any questions, write, write it up right now, right? Because we're answering questions. Yeah. This is live. This is a rare moment. You rarely have teachers that you actually can talk to. Most of the time, you're sitting there, like, watching videos. Take advantage of the moment, and uh, don't forget to help brianwolf.com throw some dough, you know, $5 from uh, whatever you could give. Even calling, even watching this, you know, it's, it's support, and that's what we appreciate, and that's what we're here to do, support each other, do the thing, make some beautiful paintings, and yip yap sometimes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to paint. I'm going to try to get this done, and uh, I'll explain anything that... You don't understand. I'm actually pulling this up because we're going to do a, an effect where it looks like she's pulling her, her shirt up. Y'all remember that time that Abby Trent wasn't She-Hawk? <laughs> <laughs> no, we missed. We... Oh, no, it wasn't her. <laughs> so I'm actually looking. If you could, I don't know if you could see him. Sometimes you can't see him because the light gets so bright. So you don't see where these little parts that aren't solid are happening I use like I let the brush dry up sometimes so I could keep adding a lighter shade but I mix a lot of my paints if I don't like you know if it's not gray enough or sometimes you got to just make your colors so we're playing up her folds now You see how I'm looking for places to pull? Like, this is where the cloth would pull on a normal shirt. So we're, like, creating the illusion. I was watching uh, Athena Zay, and I thought it was pretty funny because she was like, you know, a lot of people, they want to see the painting. You know, they want to know that it's a body painting. And um, not so much that, you know, it's an illusion. But I'm like, I guess because I'm an illustrator, I'm big on, like, it's got to be an illusion for me. And I want them to be, like, bamboozled and think like oh my god that's amazing you know i didn't know that's what it was painted on you know i think when when they get fooled and you can fool people these days because everybody's like so i know everything i know what's going on i know how it's done you know it's like if the picture wasn't instantly put on her it's not they're not happy you know it's like this is like an instant world so sometimes i don't know you gotta appreciate taking the time to do stuff so we're going to keep playing up these folds with our gray. So we saw this movie, Ted, the other day. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't for the kids, right, okay? <laughs> Just so you know. I thought uh, we were like, <laughs> I don't know what to expect. We saw it with Marcella, too, so I'm like, okay, that was unbelievable. <laughs> 
I'm getting to know everybody here now. It's all starting to make sense. <laughs> I was like, this is where I belong, man. You know, I, I, where, I'm like, there's so many cameras here sometimes. It's like, I don't know which one I'm looking at. Okay, I'm going to keep going. I got to finish this painting, so. <laughs> I have two cups of water, just so you're, uh, I have one cup where I put the dark colors in, and I have one cup that I put uh, my white colors in. So that way you don't get muddy colors. When you want to have whites, your whites stay white, and if you want to have, you know, the darks really don't matter because once they start getting muddy, it doesn't matter. You're trying to make it dark anyway, so. So I'm using my dark, dirty water for my darker colors. My dirty water. <laughs> Muddy waters. So the movie Ted, you want to review? <laughs> Interesting. I'm not selling anything. <laughs> I'm just saying. It was pretty funny. It's made by the makers of the Family Guy, right? Yeah. Hey. Oh, yeah. I'm not, I don't know, I'm not a Family Guy fan, but that was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> You'll definitely uh, have something to laugh about. What was your favorite part? My favorite part? My favorite part, I would say, hmm. Um, well, there's a lot of favorite parts. <laughs> there's a lot of favorite parts in that movie. Um, let's see, let's see. My favorite part, oh, I think when the, there was, the bear was, was pretty scrappy. He was pretty scrappy. I was like, this cat is tough. I want a bear like that. He'd just be like, chop, 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 chop. Like, yeah, man. That's what I'm going to roll with that bear. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'll roll. Man, I'll, I'll be a grown man and roll with that bear if he fights like that, for sure. I'm like, go get him. And she's like, whap, whap, whap. Take that. <laughs> That's a friend. That's a proper friend. Okay, what I'm doing here, I'm going to put some shadows, and I'm actually going to leave a little lip. It's kind of like tattooing. Have you ever, uh, have you ever watched a tattoo or you look at tattoos and stuff? What they do is they leave this edge. They leave an edge like that. So this little edge right here becomes like your, your reflected light. Angel. So you're kind of cheating, sort of. And I'm going to use my Pasher brush to blend that in. The <laughs> wand chooses the wizard. Yeah. You're, you're, you're made of gold now. Yeah, right. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> Got to blend it in. I'm like, where's my clock? So we got to make wrinkles and we got to make, I got to finish the design. So we're going to kind of just go quick over this. This would probably be like normally if I wasn't talking, I would have been done by now. <laughs> but Oh, that's so nice. The chat group wants to order us pizza. Pizza pie. That'd be great. Okay. I'm going to do some highlights. I'm using uh, Wolf number two i believe what happens is these brushes i've used them for so long it's like they're no longer they they don't have paint on them anymore so i'm gonna Bye, i'm gonna use a technique that uh pasher i learned from pasher to do shadows and we're gonna put some shadows i'm gonna put some sh some shadows here Make our shirt look like, give her some more cleavage, right? She got you. <laughs> <laughs> Camera three is working. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to keep playing up these shadows right now. Playing with shadows. Shadows are our friend, okay? These are, um, shadows are objects buddy, all right? Without shadows, they're like lonely friends. <laughs> <laughs> Without shadows, they're lonely people, you know? Sure. You got to learn how to spend time with people. That's what I learned about, you know, body painting. I was like, I could, I could, I could talk to somebody? I don't get to talk to people much when I'm sitting in a room trying to design a a shirt, you know, by myself with the with the Mac, like it's you and me for like the next twelve hours. 
John, please tell me I can get this class on DVD. <laughs> please tell me that that's going to be possible to have a TV because I want to watch this over and over. <laughs> it, it's not just a job. It's an adventure. You know where that's from? Text us right now. <laughs> it's from a movie. Prize to the person. No, I'm not giving prizes. I'm just saying it's a... Uh, bonus points. Yeah, bonus points. You get, you get some cookies points if you, uh, if you know what movie that's from. Private Nance? What was that? What, what's the line again? It's not just a job. It's an, it's an effing adventure. Sounds like something Arthur Schwarzenegger would say. No? It's not just a job. <laughs> it's an adventure. <laughs> I don't know what movie. Let's see. Do any of our viewers know? We're thinking. I'm like, you know what? Do I even know right now? <laughs> It'll come to me later, you know, like in the middle of the night when I'm sleeping, like, oh, that's where it's from. I probably could, let's see. I used a bigger brush. That made me smarter. I have a. Oh, that's not from a movie. Well, no, that's well, it is though. Too. This part is. Oh, okay. Were you googling it? Well, it's a quote. It's it's a it's the Navy uh, slogan. Oh, there you go. No, but they don't say it like that. No, 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 no. The way they say it like that is from a movie. Right. They don't say it like that. <laughs> uh, well, wait. Oh, John, you just gave the answer. <laughs> We were trying to see if any Good of the job. of the viewers knew. Yeah, they knew. Oh, they knew. Okay, well, who's the, the painted cat? Has it first, I think. The painted cat. All right, turn. See, that shadow might be a little ridiculous, but. All right. I gotta get into the details. We're gonna do highlights, and then uh, I'm gonna carve out the design. Let me see what time we got. I got what? Fifteen minutes? Twenty minutes? We're going to do highlights. Next class. All right. You guys eat up. You guys eat up 10 minutes. Joke. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do highlights. So we're going to pick up. I use uh, Wolf White for my highlights. If you're using color and you need brights and you don't have a bright color, I just mix it with my Wolf White. So if you can see, the last painting I did was a uh, kind of see how my, you can tell, it might be not tellable. <laughs> I don't know. Like, oh, you see how it's kind of dirty? That's the yellow from the last painting. <laughs> so that's what happens. You know, I mix my uh, colors with wolf white to get my, my highlights. And then that way you get, you know, you get those, those bright whites. And what I'm looking for now is the top of our hill to put our highlights on. So there's, this is the top of the hill. These are like, you know, Bob Ross when he was like, these are happy little hills. <laughs> these are happy wrinkles. <laughs> if you guys never seen Bob Ross, <laughs> if you've never seen Bob Ross, then, then uh, that's another person you should really check out. He was, uh, he was a man. He, just the way he talked to people was like, you know, these are happy trees. These are happy shadows. Our, our shadows need friends. Without friends, what would we be, right? We'd be nowhere. Oh my God. <laughs> what grade do you teach? Oh, I teach K through 8. Really? <laughs> you can see they rubbed off on me, right? <laughs> so we're just looking for places to put our highlights on. And then we're going to get into the, to the actual image. So we're actually going to make sure you put your highlights like... You don't want to put them, like if i got a highlight here, you could actually do like symmetry. What you're doing is looking for symmetry. It reads better than if I put a highlight here and then I'm like, oh, well, I'll put it over here now. they got to work together. Work together, people. Your lines got to work together for them to make sense. All right. kind of tough in here usually I'm like stepping back like let me see what it looks like and then holy cow am I glistening yet usually I'm like Shing! off my forehead <laughs> magic Mike what's going on here he's not in here <laughs> he's like I had enough <laughs> are you watching this Mike is that what's going on you took off of me to, to watch the thing you hung out with Lisa. See how it is. 
See how it is, bro. You know? All right. I got 15 minutes. 15 minutes. And I'm going to start trying to play up this, our design. The design part is, I like to have fun when I paint. You know, like, I don't mind making it harder for myself. Like, psh, it's no fun if it's like, oh, I'm just going to go whoosh, whoosh, and then, you know, put some whatever in there and, you know, just black stuff in. It's like, I want to see these colors work together. I want to see, you know, let's see how, let me make my life harder. Go for it, you know. Sometimes it's like you don't know what you could achieve until you try to do it. And then you're like, whoa, I amaze myself sometimes. That's usually like every painting I've done. Like, did I paint that for real? Did I paint that for real? Here's a little reflected light here. I'd be like, bam, like emerald. <laughs> That's what I tell the kids after I paint them. And I'm like, check yourself out. Bam! And they're like, oh my God, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a tiger or something, you know? <laughs> have fun with them. The kids are there to have fun, you know? That's when you're face painting. This is obviously, you know, a little more, a little more elaborate. But same idea. Make her, make them happy. Make them, you know, they want to be comfortable. You want to like not talk to them. Sometimes I've done gigs where I was like, I didn't say a word. I just was like, psh, 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 get out of here. <laughs> and then I realized I was like, you know what? I didn't, I didn't like that. You know, it's like, it's no fun. You know, you don't really get to, to, to have fun with people. And half of, half of the painting is like being able to talk to people. Like that's why I started doing it. Like the whole sitting in the room for however many hours on end, it gets boring after a while. And you're like, oh my God, what am I going to do with myself? I would like to talk to somebody. But it's like 4 in the morning. And uh, nobody wants to talk to me at 4 in the morning. <laughs> yeah. So I'm talking about happy trees. And uh, <laughs> and how, uh, how they work together. The last part, God, I'm st the sweat is starting to come out. Where's my, my surgeon? She's supposed to be here. The, what, March? March. I usually have a surgeon. Like, I'll be painting. Sometimes I'll do, like, a body painting in the club, right? And then I'm, like, melting. And I have this girl. She's like, she just comes out of nowhere, like, whoo, psh, 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 pats me and then takes off. And they're like, you're like, a, you're like a surgeon, like a celebrity. I'm like, yeah, I feel like a celebrity sometimes. <laughs> I enjoy it. The sweating part, maybe not. All right. Let me get into my design, and then we'll... Hopefully have enough time to like play up some more little parts. So we're going to go into the design and this part, let's see, just want some more highlights. Here, see, is a roll, a fold. It's not a roll of skin. <laughs> if you ever got to paint those, don't feel bad. I've done it before. No problem. It's whatever. Make them look beautiful. All right, here's my, this is going to be my liner. So I'm going to outline this with uh, wolf black because this is my favorite black on earth. This black is great for tribals. I don't really use the, the Mayron one. I don't think it has the punch and it kind of like, it doesn't come out as black. I really like those hard blacks. So when we're painting our design, what you want to do is find places that you can make it roll, maybe go up around folds and stuff. So I'm actually, I found this on, it's not my design. I could do my own designs, but don't got enough time sometimes to design everything. So there you go. So we're going to try to find places. Like if I got a fold here, I'm going to like, let's see if I could play that up. You're going to mess the picture up somewhat, but the idea is that it looks like it's actually going over your folds, you know? So you're riding these folds like, like a bike. <laughs> like I'm going over this hill, and I'm like, bam, I went down the hill, and then back up, and then, ch -ch -ch -ch. And then this fold, like, it's like it's lost in there. I could go crazy with this. <laughs> 
And this one's hitting there. This one goes. Psh, psh. And this one's like, oh, I got to fold here. And then we got to come up here. So you see how it starts kind of turning into, it's moving. Yeah. If it doesn't make sense. <laughs> I know. I'm like, those lights are like, I'm cooking right now. If you see the steam coming off me. <laughs> So this is our, our tribute to, to Brian Wolf. Once again, helpbrianwolf.com. Donate. It's, a worth, it's worth the money to keep these people with us and take care of the people who took care of us, right? The reason why I put uh, this design down here is because I actually wanted to see the wolf. If we put it like in the middle, I probably could have really went crazy with it. But I really wanted to play up more of the folds than, than the design. But we could have put that design in the middle. I just didn't want, I want it to be like a, you actually see the wolf and it's about the wolf and not so much like, you know, it's like, oh, I use that to, to do the painting. What time do we have? So I'm outlining and then we'll, uh, See what we got time to do. And if you're really good, you use your strokes to just kind of abbreviate certain lines. You don't want to get caught up trying to make. <clears throat> I love to draw. It's where this all began. Bada bing, bada boom. Make him angry. The Wolf Brothers could appreciate some angry faces. <laughs> I really have been inspired by them. I really like. I don't know. I don't mean to sound corny or whatever. I don't know how people take it, but I'm like, dude, whatever you need. You know what I mean? There's certain people on this earth that's like, I don't know. I've always respected my teachers. I've always been the type like if it's, uh, you know, it's my teacher at school or wherever, like I don't really, I listen to them, you know, and uh, they matter to me. You know, they're really a, a big deal. I know kids don't really appreciate their teachers too much anymore. But what are you going to do? For those of us who still do, we will do what we got to do to show them we like actually appreciate what they've done. If I don't make sense, <laughs> then it don't make money, Chuck. So please, if you got, you know, $5, $10, $100, $1,000, $1, whatever, you know, just... Throw down. Look out. <laughs> All right. Good Lord. I'm melting right now. <laughs> All right. The last thing, let me see what time we got. Here, I wanted to. We'll do it with this brush because I really wanted to make sure we had this. Let me see so I could see if I have my effect kind of happening. It's, ha it's, it's, it's starting to get there. I would probably spend, you know, more time on uh, making my shadows. All right, we're going to break, break this up with some text. Let's see. There we go. Here we go, my... My technique, wolf. So I don't spell it wrong. My L's in the middle. So we'll start with that. We're just going to do a simple font. Nothing crazy. If not, I won't finish this. What's the L? So we're trying to see now we got we got this place to play here. 
And this is what I mean by, you know, having fun with your, I mean, have fun with your work, right? But these are wrinkles, so this is where we get to play up our wrinkles with these lines. So, like, if I'm doing cloth, you, like, this is a base coat. It's what you put on after that really makes it read like, you know, like something else is happening. Oh, let's see. I'm going to do it. This will make sense. So we got the F and the E. So we're going to put our F right here. We're going to make our F. Let's dip it down. and It goes like this and it comes back up. It's riding the fold. You don't got to be perfect about it. It'll, you know, as long as it reads like, you know, this is moving and there's a reason for it, it makes sense. I'm like, wait a minute. Did I just mess that up? I did. did. Look, I'm going to show you something. See, that's why I should have I wrote it even more. <laughs> you fail. Epic fail. No, it's okay. See, this is what I was talking about. Perfection is, uh, is finding all those mistakes. It's like, bam. You just blur it out. And I'll get some light. It's called surgery. Nothing's ever born totally perfect. <laughs> there you go. Bam. <laughs> good save, good save, right? That was, uh, that was like almost out of the court. That's fourth and inches right there. <laughs> all right. Okay, let's keep going. So, you know why? Because I wrote it all sloppy. There's our F. And then we're going to finish with our E here. So I want to pray. That's what I was thinking. I was like, I want to be done. <laughs> and we're actually going to, let's, let's make it bump up on it. It's one of those that go right up on, uh, on the side. And then we just got our O. Let's make this bigger. Our O. The O. Let's see. Let's we'll do this. Dip, baby, dip. Look at that. <laughs> Places to have fun, you know, that's what, that's what I actually like about doing wrinkles, because it's like different places to play. <laughs> How often do you get to play, right? Not very often. <laughs> and we want to, we're going to make that black. funny because a lot of body painting it's like you're in a hurry you're like god i gotta finish this <laughs> and then our w we're gonna dip and come up here All right. I'm like, did I do that right? Does that make sense? Yeah, that's cool. I actually try to bring a lot of designs right up over here because it's like you want to break up that space. The more you break it up, the less it's like, oh, look, she's not wearing anything. You know, <laughs> you kind of want to do that. It takes the, it makes it, you know, more, I think it more elegant. All right, and then let me see. Let me look at you. I got to take my step back. Cool. And then, you know, there's a, I could go crazy with it. We could keep painting and make sure all our highlights are where they want. we want them to be. And uh, 
I guess over here too, if we wanted to make it, if you want to actually put some highlights going through the picture, you're going to want to break that up. See, now it's like going to start reading more like the image is folding. Somebody just wrote on here, my son just walked through the room and asked, why is he painting on her shirt? <laughs> There you go. Bam. Awesome. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> we just uh, did what we were, you know, there you go. Thank you. We appreciate those comments. Perfect. And you know what? I know this is, I'm, a, I'm big on plugging myself. So when you're in a club or a club or whatever, you know, I paint a lot in clubs. So, um, I always, I sign everything, you know. And this way, you know, you got your name on your work. I get caught up on details sometimes. This is where it gets like, you know, you start eating up time. But, uh, so this is where, so if you have any questions, you know, you're not sure how to make some folds or, you know, you have an idea and you don't really know how to figure it out. I, you could email me or text text me. I tell everybody to text me. Text me. It's easier. I actually see you. What was that? So thanks for watching. I hope you got a a good uh, idea of how to make cloth on a, on, a, on a body and how to play up maybe a design or if you want to do an image for a nightclub or a, a fashion show and you want to like actually paint some clothes on. Oh, and look at look at here's our here's our plug right here. She's gonna like she's pulling up her her shirt <gasps> for the for her because she has a cool tattoo. You want to do stuff like that? Like you got a cool tattoo? Why don't you play it up into your design? You know, like make it look like you know she's showing off her design instead of trying to cover it up or figure out like what am I gonna do with that? Let's let's use it, okay? So uh, I will see you guys again sometime. It was it was a pleasure to meet you. Faba TV is fabulous, and I, I totally, uh, I'm still in the clouds. I don't think I'm ever going to come down, and I appreciate everybody who's watching, and don't forget, helpbrianwolf.com. Whatever you could do, we'd appreciate it. Thank Thanks. you very much, Jeff. Awesome job. Everybody loves it. <laughs> Wonderful. It's great to have him here, and we have now on, more geez. prizes, and if you're a contributor, your name goes in the popcorn bucket, and then we pull some fabulous prizes. We're giving away books. We're giving away uh, free classes. We're giving away free convention tickets. Yeah. Yes, we are. We have. Uh, we also have a uh, free website raffle. One of our um, uh, sponsors donated a free website valued at a thousand dollars, guys. So this is a great cause, and we're giving back. So thank you guys for joining us today. I hope you're enjoying everybody. We have Margie coming up. Uh, she's going to be doing some super fabulous faces, and we also have um, uh, Pam Trent, and she's going to finish the night with some really gross, cool stuff. So and and then I mean. The guy who I came to see tonight, I mean, I don't know. He's an award-winning magician. I mean, he, he's just amazing. They just made a movie after him. It's called Magic Mike. <laughs> so, I mean, if, if nothing else, it, it made like $60 million in opening it? night. It did. That's it did. Co-starring Channing Tatum. I mean, guys, this guy right here, he's too hot. It's too hot for words. But uh, let's just get it, keep it going with this super fantastic popcorn bucket. <laughs> popcorn of bucket prizes. of surprise. Um, the Wolf FX company donated some prizes. So we have three sets of this to give away. The Wolf White, the Wolf Black, a paintbrush, and a pack of sponges. So, guys, uh, the, we're going to do a raffle right now for three sets of these, okay? So three different nice. people will win this set, and we will ship it over to you. All right. Beautiful. So I'm going to shake it up, and I'm going to pick one. I'm not going to look, because that's rude. All right, and the winner of this prize is Sandy Grusas. We love you, baby. I miss you. I haven't seen you in a long time. She's up in New Jersey. Uh, that's my girl right on the back of it. I don't have a pen. Congratulations, know. Sandy. Congratulations, Sandy. All right, so you are the winner of a set of a wolf white, a wolf black, a brush, and a pack of sponges. I'm going to be shipping that out to you tomorrow. All right. Two more to give away. So the second winner is... Shake it, girl. I'm going to shake it. Mm -hmm. Shake it like in that movie. 
Shake it like a soap. <laughs> okay. And the second winner is Gina's face tag. Gina. All right, Gina. Congratulations. I will be shipping this over to you tomorrow. Gina's face tag. These are the names that came through on my email, guys, so I apologize if I don't have your per correct pronunciation. If you're watching and you're listening, please email me. Say I won. Here's my address. Make it easy for me, please. I'm um, sure face tag is your real last name. It, yes, it is. <laughs> yes, exactly. All right. So then another winner of the wolf set is, let me shake it up, is Cat Kaba Kaba. Yay, Cat. Gay Cat. Cat. Come on, that's that's Cabajar. Great. You, gotta, you can do Cab that. Cabajar. Come on. Or in Spanish, I went to college. Cabajar. 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 I don't know. See, I don't know if that's it? the name, but if it is, congratulations Cat. to you. Cat. Good job, Cat. You are the winner of a wolf set that I'm going to be shipping out to you tomorrow. But it doesn't stop there, guys. I know that we only have a little bit of time, but I want to get these raffle prizes in because people have been so generous to donate to us. So let's pull another raffle for... Another zombie skin, all right? Ooh, ooh la la. You're going to see how this fantastic stuff, zombie-skin.com. This is four ounces. We're going to be shipping this out to you. It is a super fantastic product that Pam is going to be using to totally make you want to vomit on Thava TV. All right. <laughs> <laughs> John is going to be doing, and John and, and Magic Mike are going to be finishing off the evening doing a little scene from the movie Magic Mike. Yeah. We got the music ready? Yeah. I have the music ready. Me and Spongelicious. Right. Yes, exactly. Let's do it. And actually, what I think I'm going to do, uh -huh. um, all seriousness aside, uh -huh. is to teach Nick Wolf how to do a magic trick. I would think that yeah. that's a great Yeah, would that idea? be fun? Nick can wants to make, learn some magic. Can we make Mama Clown disappear? Can we do that? that? <laughs> That's a good trick. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding, guys. Okay. You have to donate All extra right. for that one. I know, I know. Come on. All right, and the winner of a four-ounce zombie skin is our good friend Andrew Taylor. Give it up for Andrew Taylor, guys. You are a winner. Email me your address so I don't have to stalk you. All if right. you're at home by yourself watching this, please clap when it's appropriate for an applause, like when someone wins. We can hear you through the chat window, so we please do that. We can. All right, so this. Last raffle is for another book, okay? This super fantastic book, brand new, hot off of our, um, our, our truck from Holland. It is by Superstar and Fab, the ones who make, yeah, for real. The we, truck came over from Holland? The truck came over from Holland. Oh. We are super fancy. It's technology, bro. Look at this book. Full color, beautiful images. And we are going to be raffling off another two of these. So close your eyes, make a wish. Send positive love and light to our Brian Wolf. And John is going to pick this one. And the winner is Kim Millen. Here you go, Mama. We're going to be shipping this to you tomorrow. Congratulations. I no. no, I think it's Millen. Okay. All right. And the <laughs> magic... Mike is going to pick the last book for, for now, guys. We still have a face and body art convention registration. We still have a, a full BAM extension set. We have two sets of oh, um, we have two sets of uh, airbrush makeup donated by Phoenix Inc. We have a full six pack of four ounce makeup and a full six pack of the Hydroflex. So these are great prizes valued at over a hundred dollars. So uh, and and, and somebody who wants yeah, a big, big dime. Money. All right. Um, all right, the next winner is Amber Norquist. Thank you, Amber, for donating, and you will be receiving a book very shortly. So, guys, uh, he is going to entertain you for a few, show you some of his magical moves um, after we go to break because he does need to drink a little bit, um, and and then we'll, we will be back. So thank you, guys. Right before we go to break, we do have the Duke of Silly Farm with us, who's uh, coming up right now. So, um, ladies especially, Francisco in the house. Hello, everyone. I uh, just want to say that New Age IT Services and 522 are going to donate a professional WordPress site. Um, so basically, what we want to do is raise... What we want to do is... What we raise. want to do is use our words. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. <laughs> we want to raise as much money as we can for Brian. So what we're going to do, the website is valued at $1,000. You're going to get your domain. You're going to get some emails set up, you know, a professional WordPress site made. So anybody who donates $100 or more is going to get their name thrown in the hat for this prize. Okay? Nice. Awesome. So, so everyone uh, who's contributed, everyone who does right now at $100 or more. At $100 or more is going to get their name thrown in the hat for a professional website for your business. All right? So if 
hopefully nice. everyone gets out there. Let's you know raise some money. Let's raise some money. Let's That's raise a good prize, some guys. Money. Good prize. Thank you, Francisco, the Duke of Silly Farm, one of the few men to work around this company. And now we're going to some videos, commercial break.